First, I want to thank you, Dr. Russell, for being here to uh, share your, the results of your study uh, with us. Um, I am the county supervisor that represents the district uh, that includes the Napoma Mesa and the Oceano Dunes, so I care very much about this issue. Exactly. I do have a question. I think on one of your earlier slides, you mentioned that you have been commissioned by state parks to prepare uh, the study that you spoke to today. Is that correct? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you confirming that by nodding your head. Um, I do have a number of questions that uh, are more appropriately directed to our staff, given the fact that um, Ms. Russell has indicated and implicated studies of the scientific advisory group that advises this board. Um, so Gary, would you like me to direct those questions to you or to Mr. Tupper? Can, can I say one thing to your earlier point? I had a question uh, to our APCO and I'll get right back to you. Um, either one of us will answer as appropriately. I'll defer to Carl if I'm not sure about something. So okay, you can thank direct you. Them towards and me. yes, by all means, Ms. Russell, you had something to add. So you characterized it as a study commissioned by Parks to me. It was a, a contract given to University of California, San Diego to do the research. And as part of the conditions of that contract, University of California requires that the, that the funding does in no way depend on the results. Okay. So we were not expected to find one way or the other. And I was never pressured to change uh, or, or view my results in, in one way or another. I appreciate you adding that. And um, my comment to that effect had no bearing on your integrity as a scientist. Questions? Ms. Marks before? Uh, no, sir, I'm sorry. I have a, a noon meeting, so I'm going to have to leave at 1145. Um, but uh, I believe this is the third time that um, people who are either uh, funded by state parks or funded by friends of the Oceano Dunes, people who are not qualified to make scientific um, conclusions. To, to me, it's a, it's a partisan and political kind of stance. And I think the fact that Dr. Russell is so combative shows a strong advocacy, not just for her report, but also for the supposition that it doesn't make any difference if the uh, if there's all-terrain vehicles running around on the dunes. Uh, we have a duty under the health code to protect uh, human health. We also need to follow the law, also um, follow the best science that is available to us given our jurisdiction and what we are authorized to do. So uh, I just want to say that uh, that's my stance, um, and I don't appreciate the effort to undermine uh, the good work that we've been doing over the decades here with the Air Pollution Control District. Thank you. May I ask a clarifying question, since I believe you said I was not qualified, and I wonder what other qualification you would expect. I wasn't referring to you. I was referring to someone else I who is Thank a chemist you. and uh, has knows uh, nothing about uh, air pollution. I was not referring to you. I'm sorry. I did okay. not mean to say Thank that. Thank you. So, um, Mr. Gibson, it looks like you have. Thank you, Madam Chair. I think uh, Ms. Marks summar summarized it well. You know, I just wanted to say thank you. I, I didn't find you combative at all. I thought you were very pleasant. And so I'm just happy you came today and, and shared what you have been researching. So thank you.